Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. This is going to be a no-nonsense guide for you to build the saw weapon in the Darkest Shore. To begin with, I'm going to remind you of both power switch locations in this map, because both of those locations are relevant to certain things we'll be doing in order to build the saw itself. This first location contains the actual buildables bench where the saw is built, so that's pretty damn important, and the other, which is in the Graben area of the map, the very top area, contains the second power switch, of course, but it also contains one of the parts we need to build the saw. So, once you've turned on those switches, obviously, and you've got yourself up to the Graben area, you can pick up one of your saw parts, the handle. The handle can be in one of three locations in this bunker. One of them is by the gramophone in the corner, another is by the bunk beds in the kind of little dorm room, and the third is by the table which is near the perk machine. If you can't find it, look around the bunker and you should spot it pretty quickly. The second part can be located outside in the Bunker 3 area of the map, so essentially right next to the Pack-A-Punch machine, just go towards the MP40 wall by and right by the Electro Chanel canisters, the container for those canisters, those fuses, you'll see the saw blade lying on top of a dead guy's head. Grab that as well with square or X and then you'll be well on the way to actually building this thing. All you need to do at this point is walk back down to the buildables bench that I showed you at the start of the video, hold square on there and you'll place the parts on the table. Beware, there might be a little bit of an explosion, or at least there was for me in my game. I'm not sure if that was a bomber zombie behind me or some kind of tomfoolery going on with the table itself, but you'll then be able to actually buy the saw from the buildables bench for 2,500 points. It's not free, which is an interesting change from what we're used to, making us pay for our wonder weapon, but hey, I mean, it's a fairly easy one to build, so I guess it's understandable. Now, there are a couple of different things that we can do with this saw. Similar to the shovel in the Final Reich, we can heavy melee enemies, and if we hold square when we do that, we can not only harvest the jolts or ammo or whatever that they'd normally give us, but we can also harvest their spine. What I tend to do for this is head down into the U-boat pens and keep harvesting zombies around the door where the officer chained to the wall is going to be later on in the Easter egg, and... Eventually, you'll get a charged zombie spine when you harvest a regular zombie. It should be red and glowing. Once you've got one, you're going to be able to go over to the buildables bench and put it down, and you'll then need to charge it with souls, and after it gets to maybe 20, 30 souls, something like that, it will be done, and you'll be able to infuse the saw, which will cost 2,500 points, and then you'll be able to finish your upgrade, and that will cost a further 500 points, and you'll have the rip saw. This thing is pretty awesome as you're able to fire saw blades out the end of it, and it's got a fair amount of ammo, it's over 20 saw blades that you can fire, and you'll actually need it for various parts of the easter egg on this map as well. It's also just powerful when you're meleeing zombies, so that's a nice bonus, and as one final little treat, I want to note that you can still harvest stuff with the ripsaw, you just need to sprint and kind of bayonet charge the zombies instead of doing it like we previously did by heavy meleeing. I'm going to have more details on other various upgrades and things in other videos on my channel, so feel free to click through to links in the description down below for those, but otherwise, I've been Mr. Roth Waffles. this has been your Ripsaw Build Guide, thanks for watching, drop a like if you found it useful, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.